In this tutorial I'll show you how to create these viral text animations within After Effects, it's quite easy, so let's get into it. So I went ahead and made a vertical composition here with my text, you can do this by your beat or however you want to, I'm just going to demonstrate how I create the animation from start to finish. Alright, so I have my text here and I'm going to start with opening up Animation Composer and we're going to go and select one of the animations here that I like, uh, I believe it was this one, select it and add it to our first layer. Speed it up just a bit. Okay, so our first layer will be starting like this. Cool. Now in each one of the text here, you're gonna hit P for position, select a keyframe and move it like two frames forward. And the first keyframe is gonna be somewhere off frame. So let's say from left to right, and it will look something like this. Okay, it's, ba it's barely visible, but once we add all the effects and the motion blur, it's gonna make more sense. So I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the text here. Okay, so I went ahead and add these. As you can see here, I went and done the same with the scale. So it's just a few frames of animation on each one of the layers. Let's go ahead and make an adjustment layer. And I'm gonna add wiggle. Wiggle position. And I already made a tutorial about this on how to create a shake effect. So if you want to check it out, there you go. Okay, so once we add the wiggle, let's go ahead and set these settings to zero. Now let's go two frames before each uh, new layer set a keyframe for these and go to where it transitions and set this to 2 and this to 35. Hit U to bring this up, move a few frames forward and paste the first keyframes. So we basically have like a small shake between each layer, like this. Now you're just gonna copy and paste this to all of these and go ahead and enable motion blur and make sure your motion blur is enabled on all the text layers. So it should look something like this. Okay, so it already looks great. Now let's go ahead and add the background, some glow, and maybe some transitions. Go ahead and create a new adjustment layer and add the glow to it. Gonna go with the default glow here. And let's go ahead and scale up the radius, play around with the settings, maybe something like this. Hit T for opacity. I'll click the stopwatch and type in wiggle, open bracket, let's go 5, comma 20. So it just creates a bit of a flicker there, as you can see, we might want to go ahead and intensify this, so let's say 10 and 50. As you can see, it creates this type of flicker effect. Now let's go and add the background here, make it black, drop it down. And there are many places you can get stock footage of grain. So that, for example, this website is great because everything here is free. I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. Once you do that, let's just drop it into our composition. We can rotate at 90 degrees since we are in a vertical comp. Scale this up and let's set it to additive. Let's go ahead and drop this under our shake layer and maybe 80 on the opacity. Cool, let's go ahead and pre-compose this and see what we got. Okay, so almost there. Let's go ahead and add another shake here. So I'm gonna type in the same wiggle and choose the wiggle position. Let's make this one a bit slower. So maybe keep it at one, but go ahead and put 25 here. And we have like a constant shake here, which is not too aggressive and looks fine. Maybe go 0 0.6 here actually yeah and for the transitions I use the ones from animation composers so if you go here you have transitions and you have something that's called generate light leaks let's add that and we can transition it here duplicate it and where it says cut it basically where it, we can loop it so let's put this at the end of our composition here until we get something like this Okay, this is pretty much it. This is how you create this type of text animations. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.